Hi, my name is Zach Banner. I'm an offensive tackle at USC. Um, here for the Watkins Alumni Association. I just want to say, give a shout out to the uh, Phoenix chapter athletes and congratulations on what you guys have achieved. Um, you guys are taking a, a big steps into your life and, and I just want to wish you good luck. Devere Posey, The Ohio State University graduate, current Houston Texans in my third season. I just want to say congratulations to all the uh, Phoenix chapters. You guys, man, look forward to having you guys into our program and into our foundation. Always making sure that you're doing the right things. And if something happens to go wrong, just make sure you find the right in it and uh, get better. Devin Gardner, quarterback at the University of Michigan, 2010 Watkins finalist. Congratulations to the Phoenix chapter. Continue to focus and uh, continue to be great. You know, that's the, that's the biggest thing. You know, don't let distractions get in your way and just continue to live a dream. Hi, I'm Drew Davis, wide receiver for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, Watkins Award winner 2007 and Watt 2011 class. I want to say congratulations to the Phoenix chapter for doing a great job this year, for having a great class, a strong class. And I want to say, go Ducks. Hey, I'm Kendall Thompson, uh, Watkins class of 2011, and I'd just like to give a, a big congratulations to the Phoenix chapter. You know, you guys just keep, keep being determined and, and striving for excellence and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Hi, uh, this is Justin Blaylock, guard for the Atlanta Falcons, Watkins class of 2002. I want to say congratulations to the Phoenix chapter and hook them. My name is Joshua Dobbs. I am the quarterback at the University of Tennessee. I am of the Watkins class of 2013. And congrats and good luck to the Phoenix chapter. Peace world, it's Lamont King, also known as your favorite interviewer's favorite interviewer. See me at kinglamont.com. And I just want to congratulate all the Phoenix area athletes on a great job. Well done. And if I can say anything to you, I'm going to just say be yourself. Keep it simple. Be yourself because can't nobody be you. Congratulations. Salute. Hello, my name is Daryl Rhodes. I am a football coach at Hamilton High School in Los Angeles, California. I'm here today at the Watkins Award, and I want to give a congratulations out to the Phoenix Chapter Athletes. Now, as a professional athlete, what kind of advice would you give them in terms of uh, becoming successful? Uh, the biggest thing, uh that, that helped me, I think, is just really um, listening to the to people that are older than you, uh, that are wiser than you are, or whether that's your parents, coaches, or teachers. Uh, just really listen to their advice and their direction because they're out there to really help you and love on you uh, because they are really the reason why you've been put on this track. You know, um, I think oftentimes you forget about the people that were really there, that created that foundation that was there to push you because um, not too many people are just naturally driven to come out and get good grades and do everything right. You have some direction and some guidance around you, and those people are there for a reason. And I have those people still in my life. You gotta, even as you grow and have success, you still have to be willing and humble enough to allow those people to still give you direction uh, because they've lived a lot longer uh, than you have, and you, you never really ever have all the answers even when you're the most successful person on the planet. Yes, my name is Ed Ransom, and I'm the founder and, uh, of the Phoenix chapter of the National Alliance of African American Athletes. Um, we're here at the Franklin D. Watkins Award, uh, and, and we would like to, to reach out to you guys there in Phoenix and say, hey, uh, you can be here too. And uh, we're looking uh, to continue our, our, our work with you guys and uh, we hope that uh, at some point uh, we can have a representative from Phoenix uh, here at the Watkins. Um, thank you.
So you've seen, you know, athlete after athlete come through the organization. What do you think are the keys for these guys to be successful? All right. Parenting is great. As a characteristic, it's important for these individuals to have great time management, but it's really the focus of excellence. And if your parents or whoever it is around you and your extended family give you a sense of what that means, the value of it, and give you the ability to kind of have a goal and focus on that goal so that you reach it, it helps out a great deal. And you see that in each and every one of them. It may have be a one-parent household, maybe a two-parent household, but someone instills that sort of sense of focus and a sense of responsibility, and they carry it forward. I'm Richard Wilson. I was part of the 2009 Watkins group from BYU, tight end. I just want to congratulate uh, all you guys from the Phoenix chapter who are being awarded this year. Congratulations. How you doing? My name is Savon Huggins. I go to Rutgers in New Brunswick, New Jersey. I'm a junior economics major and minor in labor studies. I play running back and I wanted to congratulate the Phoenix chapter and uh, continue to you know, work hard in the classroom and on and off the field and always put God first. God bless. Uh, hi, uh, Bobby Okariki. Uh, I'm a linebacker out of Southern California. I'll be going to Stanford University next year. And uh, congratulations to this year's Phoenix chapter athletes. Uh, it's been hard work, but it's only going to get better in, in the end. So keep working hard, stay focused, and keep your mind right. Thank you. Hello, I am J.R. Lemon. I am Watkins class of 2001. I want to congratulate all of the Phoenix chapter athletes. I am now, I was a former football player, played at Stanford University and for the Oakland Raiders. I am now an actor. Check me out on NBC this June on the night shift. And uh, my parting words are going to be the sweat of preparation determines the champion long before the day of destiny determines the outcome. The sweat of preparation determines the champion long before the day of destiny determines the outcome. Remember that one. JR, I'm out.